Hi, Timothy Unker here, and in this video, what we're going to do is show you the square root function in C. So I'm going to create a file, and I'm going to call that file square root.c. And let's make our little comment here. Uh, put your name as the author if you're following along. So Timothy Unkert, um, purpose is to demonstrate uh, the square root function in C. And we'll say copyright 2021. All right, and uh, we're going to include two header files, and we may need to do something else as well. So we're going to include stdio.h, and we're going to include math.h. Okay, and then we're going to create our main function, and uh, within that, we're going to have um, a value and let's have a result that are both integers and we'll say result equals square root of the value and we have to figure out what uh, the value is so let's make it easy let's say value equals nine so square root should be three and uh, we can print this with printf we can say the square root of percentage D is percentage D. And then we'll have our quotes and our value and our result. And let's return zero. And I'm going to do control X, control S. Let's open eShell if you're following along on Emacs. And um, we're going to compile this. And we may need to do something at this point. So I'll just show you in a moment. OK, so here it uh, said undefined reference to square root. So to compile it this time, what we need to do is we need to link in math. Even though I included that header, I'm going to do an ash, uh, uh, a dash LM. OK, so now it compiled just fine. And now we can run this, run the square root file, and we see the square root of 9 is 3. Let's make this a little bit neater uh, with a period and then bring it down to the next line with that slash n. And let's go back to eShell. Let's compile it. We'll link in math. And we'll run this program again, and we can see the square root of 9 is 3. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration on how to use the square root function in C. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications, as it really helps the channel grow. I hope to see you in the next one, and have a great day. Bye.